Spring has sprung. It is green down here in Savannah. There is pollen absolutely freaking everywhere, but that means that the phone has been ringing off the hook, both residential and commercial. This is a great time of year for us. I absolutely love it. Um, actually, we are in the process of adding uh, another employee. We've got the trailer and the truck all set up. So uh, excited about that. Gonna do a little bit of training there. But today I am going out, I'm looking at two different warehouses. And I'm also gonna share with you guys my new bandit signs. The strategy that we are implementing with these completely new look. So get ready for that. Um, I don't have a ton of information. They found us on Google. And so I am gonna go over there. I don't think anybody is gonna be at either one of them. But uh, if they do, I'm gonna talk with them. See uh, you know, ask the questions that I ask and uh, we'll go, go from there. But um, one of them is pretty big uh, from what I could tell from the brief conversation that I did have with the gentleman. And, uh, and the other one, I don't think it is just based on the location, but who knows? So uh, I'm on the way out there. I'm going to take you guys along. We're going to walk it. We're going to talk it. We're going to talk about how I'm going to price it. The things that I look at, uh, the questions that I ask, well, probably not going to have those uh, questions. Like I said, they're not going to be there. But Regardless, um, we're gonna go, we're gonna quote a, a couple big ass warehouses or hopefully a couple big ass warehouses and uh, you're gonna be along for the ride. And one of the other things that I'm doing uh, as I drive out here is I am looking for ideal spots, right? Ideal spots where I can plop some of my new bandit signs. And the reason that I say new bandit signs is I have completely revamped how they look. I just wanted to try some things out. I've, I've always been a fan of bandit signs. They have worked for us forever, uh, but I have tweaked what they look like, what they say, the message. And you know, thus far, uh, the first iteration of the new design, they did well. I bought a hundred of them, we put them out, and uh, the phones obviously, uh, you know, they were ringing and it was, it was a little bit different. Normally I have the $99 per thousand square feet, starting at $99 per thousand square feet. I'm not the $99 guy, so don't get all bent out of shape. We've never done anything for $99. But this new sign, um, I wanted to play with it a little bit. I changed up the colors. I always do black and white. Still a white sign, blue and black lettering. Um, and uh, I'll show it to you here, but it says low cost. And again, this is one of those perception things, right? When I have the $99, price on there. Uh, I, I found it would attract people that thought that they could get something washed for $99. Now, the people that I I try to focus on, you know, our ideal target customer, and if you've watched this video right up here, wherever I'm going to put it, uh, you'll, you'll learn about how to identify your target audience. But when you put $99 on there, you're going to get phone calls, right? Uh, a lot of people, they're like, okay, I get it. I have a 5,000 square foot house. I know I'm not going to pay $99. There's probably some fine print, and there is. I give them the price. They schedule. Everybody's happy. Then there are the people that are like, oh, it's $99. It's I, I saw your sign. And then I'm like, well, it says starting at $99 per thousand square feet. Your house is 2,500 square feet. You know, that's $225. I don't know if the math is right, so don't correct me. Um, and, and, and so then they're not happy because they thought they were gonna get it for $99. That's one in 50, right? And that's the choice that I made when I make those signs is I know that I'm gonna get some of those people. And so what I did was I just went completely away from the traditional signs that we've been using forever. I put a little blue low cost, right? And I chose those words because low cost can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. A thousand dollars could be low cost to somebody that's in, you know, a, a million dollar home. Two hundred and fifty dollars could be low cost to somebody that's, you know, thinks that it should cost four hundred dollars. So it's all about perspective, and it's all about, you know, the person who's reading the signs, I guess, perception or, you know, what they think low cost means. So when I give them a price, they're like, oh, this is low cost, or it's not, whatever the case is. Anyway, I changed it up a little bit. The first iteration had low cost house wash phone number. Then I started thinking, you know what? I screwed up, I should have had, and the reason that I didn't initially was because I was trying to keep it unbelievably simple, right? Again, just testing things out, A-B split testing. I do it on every piece of marketing that we do. I did that, phone number, the, the, the service that we're providing, and then the low cost, right? Kind of the call to action. And then uh, I decided I wanted to put the, the website on it, but I didn't want to put uh, my full website because it's kind of long, but I wanted to keep it shorter. I wanted it to take up less real estate on the sign. So I went and I bought a new domain and I can't remember exactly what it was, honestly. 
uh, if it was 912 clean or clean 912 or area code, something simple, something easy to remember. And that's very important when you are talking about bandit signs. They've got limited time, whether it's at a stop sign, a stoplight, uh, where you know there's going to be traffic. And if you want to know my exact strategies for placement and, and all of this, you can check it out at Local Dom 2. Uh, great information there. We go through pretty much everything you need to know how to market your business to get really big jobs, right? And so, case in point, where we're going right now, two big warehouses, and I'm not going to count the chickens before those eggs hatch because that's a big rookie mistake. Uh, anyway, um, you know, some of the things that I've done within my business as far as marketing and everything else goes, goes back directly to what we are teaching in Local Dom 2. Uh, and it's 30% off right now. You can use promo code SPRING. Uh, and you can use promo code SPRING with How to Wash 2 if you are just starting your pressure washing business or you're thinking about starting it. Uh, really good stuff. And there is a cop behind me. I hope I don't get pulled over because I am filming. And uh, let's see what happens. Oh, nope. Oh. He didn't pull me over. Okay, so at least I didn't get pulled over. Regardless, um, I am going to get on this cop's ass and I am going to ride it up to the first warehouse and let's go take a look. I am almost to the warehouses, but what I wanted to show you guys, all of these, this is where I'm at right now. Every single one of these is a big ass warehouse, right? TPO roofs and I'll bet you this is an outdated map because I know there's a bunch more and my map keeps going in and out. But I mean, if you look, they're freaking everywhere. This is like, we're right by the ports. So there are warehouses everywhere. Know where these are in your area. What's up, man? We're shaking. So you could drive the other side and yeah. just take a look, but they've already started that side. So we'll, I don't know if we'll do it in two phases or what. I don't know if he's gonna wanna wait till it's all done. Yeah. I'm not sure. He might want to do it in two phases. That way he can at least get the painter on that side started. Right. Um, but you'll see a bunch of wood on the other side where all this has been cut out. Yeah. And we, we're going to install dock levelers. Okay, so the slurry and stuff, all that's what all we that want. All that shit, okay, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So basically from that grayish brown yeah. down, that okay. skirt, all the way around. That's your cell number I called? Yeah. Will you text me? I don't know if they get if they got your... Uh... I'm going to give you my card. Okay, perfect. And I don't carry cards. You're good. You're at the top three of the Google search. That's right. Anybody else call or come out yet? No. You're the first one that responds. Good, I like it. Yeah. Well, man, I appreciate you. I will, um, I'll send you something over this afternoon. Yeah. And then... Uh, Just email it to me, I'll forward it to the boss. And perfect. I'll tell him. Cool. Well, I'll, I'll get a good number for you. Uh, if All it right. sounds weird or funny... Yeah, just let me know. Yeah. All right, thanks, bro. All right. All right, so now we know what the expectations are here. And uh, these are the ones that have already been done, which is super cool. And uh, there really is hardly any slurry at all. So all we're really looking at is just a good rinse. Probably no chemicals needed at all, I would not expect. And uh, like that's the remnants. Obviously rain is not gonna get right here. So probably rinse anything that we rinse off here, which is not a lot, surprisingly enough. When he was talking about the cutting out of all of the concrete. I was thinking it was gonna be a big mess, but it's not. I wanna say 1,100 or 1,300 linear feet, if I'm not mistaken. What, about two football fields? And so when I'm quoting something like this, because there's really no gauge, right? We're doing from right there, the, the gray down. And uh, you know, so on in a scenario like this, I just determine, okay, how long is it gonna to take to do this one section, right? And, uh, and then we multiply how long it's gonna take this by all of these. And the good news is we do a lot of warehouses. And when we do warehouses, it's typically not new construction. It's after they've you know, been around for a while, trucks in and out, which is a nightmare, right? Because there could be a truck here one day and we get all this done and then we have to come back and do this or that one is blocked and then we get all the way down and then we have to come back and do you know bay four can be very very uh annoying but logistics come into play but like he said we're going to get um all of these cut out and we'll walk up here to see what the uh, uncut out versions look like so this is what they look like pre-completion so before 
after and uh, they're retrofitting everything. It's kind of crazy some of the things that they need to do in order to get a certificate of occupancy for this particular warehouse. It's being retrofit. It's brand new, but the company that is uh, going to be coming in here and moving in and using this is going to, they have to retrofit a bunch of different things. And uh, this is some of them. Okay, so warehouse number one, I think, uh, I think we know how we're going to go about it, right? We are going to count how many doors there are. We know how long the building is. I have an idea of how long it will take. I do have to look for water sources because that is something I did not ask, which is very important to ask. So I'm going to do a, a one more drive by and see if I can spot water sources because that's absolutely critical. If not, we'll have to tap into a fire hydrant, which is not a big deal, but it's just, uh, you know, one more thing that you have to consider when you are pricing and you're figuring all of this out. So I'm going to uh, do a little spin around and uh, do a count real quick and then we can um, go from there. So we've got 67 doors. Tell me what your quote would be on this. Okay, so I just talked to him and they have one water source on the side, the front, and one on the back. And he said by the time we get here to get started, hopefully we get the job, he will have two more in the middle. So uh, we should be good to go. So the water should not be an issue at all. And all of these bays correspond directly to the other side. So uh, we know what the count is. So let's go to the next warehouse. All right, so we're about a quarter mile away from the second warehouse, and this is interesting. Obviously, we're by the docks. I'm going to show you that. I mean, we're right on top of it. So we are all over warehouse territory. This is 19 minutes away from the last warehouse, uh, but the docks are absolutely huge in Savannah. They run up and down the river. So we are uh, we are in the, the heart of Warehouse Central, and uh, this guy has got new tenants moving in on April 1st, and he called us because he needs to get the outside cleaned up, and uh, I'm gonna go take a look, see what all we can do for him, and uh, we'll talk about you know the things again that we look at, what we look for, and uh, how we're gonna assign a price to this particular job. Okay, so warehouse number two, they want the office done, they want the concrete done, and they want the sides of the warehouse done. Um, it does not look like this has been cleaned in some time. You can see up there lots of mold and mildew and lichen. Uh, that will definitely require a nice, stout, soft wash. And excuse all this noise. We're, like I said, we're right down by the ports. Um, we do have a water source, which is great. Okay, so what do you guys notice? Obviously, it's very, very nasty and dirty, but uh, the roof line is pretty much directly on top of all of these bushes. So we're gonna have to be very cautious with uh, the strong solution that will be required to clean that up there. Uh, as well as this, I mean, the brick, it, it, it's, it's pretty dirty. You can see it. Um, this is all gonna require a very stout soft wash mix as is the concrete. So we're gonna have to do our best to protect all of this. And you can just see this, this is nasty. Obviously we'll cover this up because we don't wanna get any of their stuff wet. Soft wash solution and pressure is gonna be required down here. We want to talk about some dramatic transformations. Aluminum siding. Something we don't see a lot of in Savannah. Very, very interesting to see that here. We see vinyl, we see hardy plank, stucco, brick, but uh, very, very seldom do we see aluminum. This warehouse has seen better days. Lots of paint missing. So just a nice soft wash there. The 
gutters are completely full and I noticed on the other side they've also got plants growing out of the gutters so I'm going to try to upsell them on that as well so I will measure out this building using quote IQ obviously if you guys are interested in the software that you are seeing uh, it's myquoteiq.com you can get it there dollar for your first month any tier try out instaquote try out customer self-schedule try out mass email and text try out all of the email automation for one dollar so after walking the property looking at the condition of that warehouse probably not something that we really want to take on simply because of all the paint that is missing loose and it would we would create a tremendous mess and I wanted to understand what the expectations were because a lot of times people think that you know they're hiring a pressure washer and that pressure is going to uh, get all of that paint removed so I called them and obviously I couldn't record it because you know it's on my phone but um uh, basically that is exactly what he wanted he was under the impression that we would apply pressure to every square inch of the warehouse and that would remove all the excess paint then he could go in and have it painted and so I had to tell him that that is not our process we work from the ground we use soft wash systems to remove you know the the organic buildup uh, surface pollutants things of that nature and then we rinse everything down there would be some paint that flaked off but it's not gonna be what he wanted and so setting customer expectations from the beginning. Again, just a little bit of a learning moment for those of you that are brand new. It's important to you know, know the questions to ask and then make sure that you're gonna meet the expectations of the customer because if you don't, then it's no good for anybody. They're not happy, you're not happy, and by no means am I gonna go to this warehouse and spend countless days blasting every square inch for paint removal. That's not what we do. We are a cleaning company, we're not a paint removal company. So they are gonna have to call somebody else, which is fine. Uh, he did ask if we would be able to clean the office, uh, that little shed and the other small little building. And I said, absolutely, ask how much it was gonna be. And I told him it was gonna be 750 because of all of the buildup. And uh, he was cool with that. So we're gonna actually knock that out for him uh, one day after, um, you know, our regular day because there are people in and out of there and we don't want to get in their way. So we are going to, uh, we're going to knock that out for them. 750 bucks shouldn't take that long. Hit it with a very, very strong um, soft wash mix and uh, that shit should just melt right away. So what you guys saw today is how real world quoting actually happens. Now, yes, you can quote by the square foot. Now you can quote by the linear foot. You can do all kinds of different quoting, right? And those are all very sound ways if you understand exactly what the customer is looking to get accomplished, right? Like that first building, how in the world would I have some sort of formula to quote that. You have to use a hybrid model. Yes, I measured because i that's gonna give me a baseline, but there's no formula that I'm really aware of that's gonna tell me how much, you know, three feet down and that specific, you know, job with the slurry, with all of that, right? You have to go out, you have to see these big commercial jobs, and then you have to have the conversations. Uh, the conversations are what is gonna, you know, make your quote that much more reliable, that much more accurate. So if you guys have any questions about quoting, you know, leave them down below. We also have everything on the resource page, 30% off, use promo code SPRING. That is something that, you know, I really encourage you guys to, uh, to go and check out. We have how to quote, how to wash, how to stripe. Basically everything, every training program that we have is on sale right now. So check it out and uh, I hope you guys have a great day.